just completed some fascinating work in Nepal. Why don't you tell us about that? Sure. So um, the title of the film is Democratizing Mental Health. And um, we basically, uh, essentially, democratizing mental health is about giving a voice to the voiceless. Um, often we find that people working in, in mental health, in the mental health sector, um, the people who are living with mental illness are often neglected, uh, they're often stigmatized. Uh, and so democratizing mental health was really about uh, trying to give a voice to people living with mental illness. You might wonder um, why Nepal? Um, essentially, I mean, it's part of a, a research program funded by UK Aid known as PRIME, Program for Improving Mental Health Care. And PRIME actually works in five different countries. Uh, and I think it just so happened that uh, we were attending our annual meeting in uh, Nepal in April this year, and it just kind of the logistics just fell into into place. So I think that's why we've, we've uh, pr produced in this uh, film, this short film in Nepal so far. But uh, it's definitely expanding. In fact, next week the production team is heading off to the South African site where uh, we're working closely with the uh, South African National Department of Health, uh, where they're piloting the NHI, and we are we are trying to integrate mental health into the healthcare system there. And similarly, uh, it looks like this project is going to expand to India to Uganda and to Ethiopia, the other countries in which we're working. So those make up those five countries. Exactly. Then. Now, one of the really interesting and quite heartbreaking things about this was the lack of education on the ground and the stigma that uh, the gentleman that you interviewed really faced. Uh, many of his community leaders saying that he was demon-possessed and, and those types of things. Is this also an issue that we're dealing with back home? Most definitely. Uh, I mean, uh, I think there's, you know, often we, the work that we do is, is very much informed by research evidence. You know, we work with psychologists, we work with psychiatrists, and I think it's been widely published that, um, you know, people living with mental illness are highly stigmatized. Um, not only uh, are they stigmatized by their families, uh, by their communities, uh, but sometimes you'll even find that they're stigmatized by health workers, health professionals working in the health system. So, you know, it's, it's incredibly complex and, um, you know, we hope that this, these, this type of tools would actually contribute towards um, destigmatizing mental illness and creating awareness of, um, you know, and, and creating a normality of, you know, people who are living with mental illness, which could be you and I, you know. Now, as the filmmaker, um, were there particular lessons that you learned while you were on the ground or challenges that you encountered? Most definitely. I think one of the biggest challenges uh, before the project even started um, that we encountered was definitely issues of ethics. Um, as you can imagine, I work uh, in a very, uh, res amongst researchers, I work in a res research community in a sense. And um, so there's a, uh, academics are often very much aware of um, uh, you know, um, f further stigma, destigmatization, um, or so, sorry, further stigmatization of people living with mental illness when you put them in front of the camera. So you probably see quite often uh, when when uh, persons with mental illness are portrayed in the media, they often put a, an X over the face or they block their face out. And uh, so we made a very strong case, and in fact, initially, even the University of Cape Town's uh, Human Research Ethics Committee were very reluctant to approve this particular project. And um, we, we made a strong case that, you know, we believe, and we've, we've showed research evidence to, to back it up as well, that we believe if you show people living with mental illness on camera, and if you get their consent, and if you get the consent of the, the, the health workers that they work with, that will contrib further contribute to destigmatizing mental illness because we're showing a certain degree of normality. Uh, we're showing the person living day to day. Um, you know, the person we're trying to depict the person as ordinary. Now, can you give us a little bit more information about Prime? Sure. So Prime is a research program consortia. Um, working in five low and middle income countries and it's funded by the UK government, UK aid. Uh, and so Prime works in Ethiopia, India, Nepal, South Africa and Uganda. And so Prime is basically, uh, this research program is led uh, from South Africa here at the University of Cape Town and um, we basically are managing this five country program, um, you know, from here. 
So, I mean, essentially the goal of Prime is to integrate mental health into primary healthcare systems uh, and to also uh, to strengthen the health system, you know, uh, in terms of mental health care. Now, if something that you said today really resonates with someone watching this video, how can they get more information or even get involved? Um, they can definitely get in touch with me. Um, so one of the unique features of the program as well, uh, in the past they never really had anyone who's, who's been involved in promoting the research of the program. Um, they never really had anyone for, uh, with a background in communication. So people can most definitely contact me and um, my email address is on, on the website. And yeah, we'd be happy to engage with um, other stakeholders. Well, thank you so much for joining us today. Thank you very much for having us and for the opportunity to share something about Prime.